My story begins about about eight years ago. And I was actually in a relationship with someone that I, I deeply cared about. And when that relationship had ended, I had just gone through like a really, really hard time just struggling, understanding life, understanding my purpose, understanding, um, understanding God, like, God, why would, why would you do this to me? Why would you allow me to go through such heartache if you're so good? And that really affected me. It affected me for, for many years. It took some time, but I had started working out again. Um, I started praying again. I started to meditate a little bit, but I was just kind of doing that whole, the whole new age meditation kind of thing. That was where my lifestyle was, was heading. And just trying to find that inner peace, just trying to cope with the pain that I was still holding on to. I was dealing with depression. It was depression. And so after going to all these camps and retreats and seminars, and I'd come to the conclusion that really none of this stuff was helping. At least it wasn't helping for the long term. And so I had to come to this kind of acceptance that this depression is never going to go away. It's just going to be something that I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. I'm just going to have to manage it. And that's just the way that my life is going to be. Come April of 2016, I was on a plane to Newfoundland and I was going to hitchhike across Canada. During that time, I had actually started going back to church on Sundays, but I wasn't going for the right reasons. I was just going so that I could have that religious luck inside of me and hopefully God would continue to bless me and protect me and it was all about me. Even when I found myself in church, I wasn't there for other people. I was just there for myself. I love Matthew 16, 24, where Jesus says, if any man wants to come after me and be my disciple, he must first deny himself. I, I love that verse. And I resonate with that so much because for me, it was all about me. And I did have to deny myself before I could pick up my cross and follow him. And ever since that day, my life has just been completely different. After I was done traveling, I came back to real life. I knew that I was entering into a season where I've got to start looking for a job and start to move out of my parents' house and and that kind of thing. That's, that's where my life was, was heading. But at this point in my life, I still didn't know Jesus. And this one day I'd gone to my, into this, this one day after I was done traveling, I had gotten into a fight with my dad about how like I wasn't really making any money, about how I was still living at home, how I had just done all this traveling and I still don't really know what I want to do with my life. And I put my parents through a lot over the years. In 2016, when I went to go travel across Canada by thumbing rides from people, I definitely added a lot of stress into the, into the pot. When I had this argument with my dad, I could tell that he was disappointed in me and I didn't really know what to do. So I just left my house, turned off my computer, went for a walk and I found this church near my house, just about a block away. And I just sat in the parking lot. It was, it was the day before Christmas Eve of 2016. And I sat in the parking lot and I just started weeping, like just started crying out to God. And I said, God, like, I don't know what you want me to do, but like, I'm just done living for myself. And I, I just, I surrender to you. And I'm, whatever it is you want me to do, Lord, like, I'm going to do it. Like, I don't even know if you're real, to be honest with you, but whatever you want me to do, just reveal that to me. And I need that and I'm, I'm going to do it. Just two days after Christmas Eve of 2016, after that Christmas Eve service, I was at home, I was on YouTube, and I was listening to this, to this Bible preacher. And I'll never forget what he said. He said that everywhere he goes, he meets people that say to him, I need to return to my first love. And he always says back to them, he says, why did you ever leave it? Because he never left you but rather he's as close as the mention of his name. I paused the video 
and I just kind of freaked out a little bit and I was like I cannot believe what I just heard like some sometimes we go to church we we listen to different people and we, we get a word and we're like oh my goodness like that was so good like that really spoke to me but this this spoke to me louder than any man's voice has ever spoken to me before because when I paused that video I had this revelation and I heard the voice of God and he said to me repent for you have fallen away from your first love and it wasn't actually until later that I realized that that verse is in the Bible that that what he spoke to me that day is actually in the Bible in Revelation chapter 2 verses 4 to 5 he spoke those words verbatim to me after I heard that word from that preacher. And that's when I realized that this relationship that I had from eight years ago, that wasn't my first love. But my first love is the one that died for me on the cross 2000 years ago. And it was like something just clicked inside of me. It was like, I can't explain it, but just something clicked and it just all made perfect sense. And I had gotten down on my knees and I, I asked him to forgive me of my sins and, and particularly to forgive me for not putting him first in my life. So Mark, do you love him? Yes. Yes, absolutely, I love him. You know, that verse talking about how there is no greater love than for someone to lay down their life for another. And I think about him on the cross, thinking about me. See. When I was living for myself, I was only thinking about myself. And it was all about me. And when Jesus died on the cross, he was thinking about me and he was thinking about all the people in my life. And that is just, that's amazing. That's amazing. And how he's got a plan for me. He didn't just die in vain. He died, he died for me. And he died for you too.